We've made a lot of progress on the mudroom renovation so far. It's time to start working on the floor. This is going to be a tile floor, so messes are easy to clean up, hence the name mudroom. From everything I've learned so far about tile, the best way to prevent cracks in the floor is to have a buffer between the concrete slab and the mortar to allow movement for temperature changes and earthquakes. So I'm going to use this tile underlayment called Red Guard. I started by rolling out and cutting the material to size, cutting it in strips that stretched across the short width of the room. Once the first strip was cut, I used that as reference to cut the rest. Then I placed all the pieces, making sure they fit, cutting around the step and filling in any small spots. The underlayment is attached to the concrete with a layer of mortar. I mixed a bag of mortar in a bucket and uh, word to the wise, if this is your first time mixing mortar like it is mine, only mix a half bag instead of the full bag. A full bag is a lot of material. It's difficult to mix properly, and if you mess up the water proportions like I did here, the entire bag doesn't go to waste. I believe I didn't add enough water, which you'll see why that is an issue here. I quickly took the bucket over and started spreading the mortar on the ground. I got enough on the ground to do half of one strip and trout it out. However, when I attempted to lay the underlayment on top, there was absolutely no adhesion. The mortar was just too dry. I tried my best to make it work, but if this isn't done properly, the tile won't go on properly either. I pulled away the strip and scraped up the bad mortar. I cleaned the remaining residue up with simple green to get the floor back to what it was like beforehand. Round two. We're going to do a little trial run to see if uh, <laughs> see if this was if this isn't the right mortar for the job or if there was user error along the way. I think I just need to get it more liquidy. I think I just didn't add enough water. And maybe I was a little bit too advantageous with mixing up an entire bag of it all at once. Probably should have cut that in half. We're gonna do a little trial run with a small blur amount and see what happens. Might as well just add the water now since it's gotta go in here. Is it too much? I don't know. Mortar mix. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it says to mix up for five minutes, so I'm just gonna keep stirring and mixing it up for five minutes. It's like, there's definitely more uh, liquidy than before. It's like, now it's more gooey, but I think it's, I feel like this is too liquidy. Like too liquidy. A little water. I can see the time on the camera, so I'm using that as my that's my timer. What are you doing down there? Up, 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 up. Oh, good boy. <laughs> up, up. Oh, good boy. Here you go. Thank you. Are you helping me next? Yes. Okay. All right, so now it's been five minutes of mixing. We're gonna let this sit. So we'll come back in five to 10 minutes and We'll see what happens. It has been between five and 10 minutes. We're gonna mix this up for, I don't know, another couple minutes, two minutes maybe. All right, now we're gonna apply it to this wood. So we have our felt side, which is gonna go here. <sighs> okay, let's hope this works. Here we go, just a random scrap piece of wood.
So these, this cutoff is like at the very inside of the roll, so it really wants to kind of flare up because that's how it was in the roll. Okay, so when I fill it up, I'm supposed to have 100% coverage. That, that's a lot better. Okay. Good. All right, so it was, <laughs> it was user error. User error, me. I'm, I'm the reason it didn't work the first time. I didn't have enough water in my grout or in my mortar. So now I can go ahead and do this for real Z. <laughs> okay. I can probably even have more water in it, like a little bit more. So this is the texture I want to go for. Gotta remember this, gloopy. Gloopy, gloopy, gloopy. It's like, kind of gloopy. Enough that it wants to go off the handle, but not so much that it sticks still. I often get asked, like, where do I learn this stuff? Like, how do I know what I'm doing? And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm just, <laughs> it's trial by fire, and I have to take into account the fact that sometimes it's just not gonna work. Sometimes I'm gonna have to scrape it all up and start again. I do plenty of research ahead of time. I watch a bunch of other YouTube videos to see how other people are doing it, see what works and what doesn't. Doing it yourself is a gamble and you're not gonna get it right every time and that's okay. But, you know, it's still worth it for me and I'm gonna just keep on trucking. By now, it's been a little while since I moved the washer and dryer out of the room. Once I install the underlayment, it'll be at least another week, and probably longer, until the tile is in place and cured, and the grout is in place and also cured. So I MacGyvered the old plumbing pipes back into place temporarily in order to do laundry before doing another hiatus. The exhaust for the dryer is still covered up with new drywall, so I ran an extended pipe out of the doggy door. I would have just left the dryer in the garage, but it needs to be near the natural gas hookup. All right, round three. Now, I know what I did wrong, so I won't mess it up this time. Also, just doing a half batch of mortar instead of a full batch is much easier to handle. It took a few half batches to do the entire floor. This application went quite smoothly. I plopped mortar down, spread it around, trout it out, and what do you know, it actually sucked this time. I used a float, which is generally used to spread grout around, to press the underlayment into the mortar. Pre-cutting the strips was a great idea because it made the process so quick. I just lined up the edges without overlapping and kept chugging along. Everywhere that will have tile, including the step, got covered up with this underlayment. And that's it. Once I figured out the mortar issue, this part of the job went really smoothly. The tile that will sit on top will be better protected from earthquakes and general expansion and contraction. I'll let this sit for a few days to cure, and then we'll get into laying tile. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Oh. 